Welcome to our demo presentation of the game MOSWIF for the web for all Web Accessibility Challenge 2020. We present today the challenges of early screening of dyslexia, our game MOSWIF, and the prediction results using machine learning. The research was done by Maria Rauschenberger, Ricardo Bayetha Yates, and Luthrelio. More information are described in the technical paper published at web for all 2020 called Screening Risk of Dyslexia through a web game using language-independent content and machine learning. So, why do we need early screening of dyslexia? Dyslexia is a specific learning disorder, which comes with reading and writing difficulties. It is wrongly associated to reduced intelligence. Current tools to screen children for dyslexia are based on reading and spelling tests and need a minimum knowledge of phonological awareness, grammar, vocabulary to predict risk of dyslexia as it is a specific language task. Let's talk about our approach. First, we designed a language-independent content game with visual and auditory cues using the human-centered design approach. Second, we measured interaction differences between children with and without dyslexia. Children between 7 and 12 years old participated. Finally, we analyzed the interaction measures with traditional statistical methods and existing machine learning classification. Next, we present first the auditory and then the visual part of MOSWITH. The auditory part is connected to Tom the cat, which is searching for the mice. The mice is hiding behind the cards. Each time you click on a card, it makes a sound. When you find the same sound, you found a mouse. Let's play. Find the same sound. To do so, Click first on one card, you think the sound is similar to the second card you click. Super, you found a mouse. Perfect, you found all mice in this task. Let's play another one. This round has six cards and uses the acoustic parameter length. Next, we will show you an example of the visual part. Please try to remember the symbol so you can find it afterwards. The symbol looks like a Z. You have only a short time to remember the symbol. Let's play. Find the symbol. After that, you see a collection of symbols that look very similar. Can you find the symbol you remember? Search for the symbol and click on it. Each game part has different levels, whether either the symbol or the sounds changes, or the amount of card changes. Thank you very much for playing. You have done it very well, and we hope you liked it. We evaluated most with the traditional statistical methods and machine learning prediction. First, we confirmed one significant dependent variable in the old data set with 313 participants, seven significant dependent variables for Spanish with 153 participants, and no significant dependent variables for the German data set with 149 participants. Then we process our data sets with different classifiers and different subsets of features, following the description in our paper. We took care of our imbalanced data sets and selected different informative features. We report the two best F1 scores and the balancey accuracy score for each dataset as well as the baseline. We outperformed our baseline for all datasets. The best F1 score of 0.75 is achieved for both languages, the German and the Spanish datasets. The German uses five features with random forest and Spanish uses the extra trees classification with 20 features. The second best F1 score, 0.74, is achieved with the German dataset using five features and random forest weights. The best accuracy of 0.74 is achieved with random forest, while the second best of 0.73 is achieved with random forest weights, both in the German dataset using just five features. 
Our approach aims to screen dyslexia with indicators that do not require linguistic knowledge. These indicators are probably not as strong or visible as the reading and spelling mistakes of children with dyslexia. Therefore, we consider our results, highest accuracy of 0.74 and highest F1 score of 0.75 for German with random forest as a promising way to predict dyslexia using language-independent auditory and visual content for pre-readers. For more information on the evaluation and discussion, please attend my talk at Webfall 2020 on Tuesday or have a look at our paper published at the Web for All 2020 called Screening Risk of Dyslexia Through a Web-Based Game Using Language-Independent Content and Machine Learning. Thank you for your attention.